Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about the recent update that came out for Black Ops 3 for Xbox One and PS4. They patched some stuff in multiplayer and in zombies, and sometimes when they patch things, they break stuff, and they definitely broke some stuff, and I wanted to let y'all know about it and be aware of it and avoid it. So the first thing that I noticed was the animation of the zombies is different. This is the original animation of the zombies before the patch, and after patch, they look like this. So yeah, they look a little unstable, a little more wobbly. It reminds me of that scene from There's Something About married with that guy with the crutches like every time I play zombies this is a little, like what I think about now but yeah they look a little bit crazier that's for sure Another thing that I had noticed and I had seen other people mention is that it seems like the zombies have been slowed down in the earlier rounds. Before the patch, the zombies were like super fast and you would just get like jacked from behind from like ninja zombies like come out of nowhere and it was really frustrating. But it seems like they have slowed them down a little bit. It makes a better balance for gameplay because it gives you an opportunity to get your weapons and you know get set up before you get completely ran over by the zombies. I played Shadows of Evil today and it seemed really easy, almost too easy. I think it's going to be really playable for new players, but for people that have been playing for a long time, you're going to notice, and I've noticed, it's like super easy, but I still really enjoy this map. One thing that they did break in the recent patch is on the giant. If you do the Easter egg steps to get the Annihilator pistol on this map and then you go down, what's going to happen to you is it's going to do a three gun punishment. And that's really what it's called. It's in the coding on BO2. That if you get three guns without having, you know, mule kick, like authorize three guns, then it will punish you and it will take away all your weapons. It will leave you with the starting pistol and it will take all your money. And that's what you're seeing right here. This is Poison Goat's footage big shout out to him he sent this to me you know letting me know hey something's going on here I know a lot of people are complaining about this right now so just avoid getting that annihilator pistol until Treyarch can fix this one thing that they did fix that people are reporting is that the zombies are now responding to the monkeys. This footage right here, you see that, yeah, the zombies didn't respond. This guy got down. Apparently that is fixed now. One thing that they did patch for PS4 and Xbox One is the ability to pack-a-punch the Wonder Weapon. You could trick the pack-a-punch machine by holding out a weapon that you could pack-a-punch. Then you quickly switch it and then hit X or square, you know, to pack a punch and have that wonder weapon as the next weapon and it would go into the machine and you can pack it. That's been patched. That does not work anymore. And the only way to get this thing upgraded is through the gumball. There's like a gumball that allows you to have, you know, a pack a punched weapon for 60 seconds. So until there's another way to get this pack a punch, the gumball is the only way. But I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know what you guys think about the zombies being possibly slowed down in the earlier rounds. It appears that that is what's going on. There's no official report on it from Treyarch, but a lot of people have been talking about it and I noticed a huge difference. I'd love to know what you guys think about it and if y'all have noticed a difference and we'll see you next video.